Hello and welcome to Built and Deployed, where we talk with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure users about their cloud architectures. My name is Zach Matthews, and I'm a cloud architect with Oracle. And today I'm here with Arvind, Head of Enterprise Applications Management for Mars Veterinary Health. We're here to talk with Arvind about how his team built and deployed the mission critical apps on OCI. So Arvind, how are you doing today? Thank you, Zach. Really appreciate this opportunity to talk to you guys. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well too. Yeah, doing good. Yeah, so Arvind, um, could you tell us a little bit about your company and also your role with the company? Sure. So, you know, Mars Veterinary Health, our MVH, is part of an ecosystem of business with one common purpose uh, in our business to serve pet and its owners for making the pets world better in this world. And, uh, you know, we are in 20 plus countries at this point with about nine banners uh, with over 2,500 hospitals. Uh, so, you know, that's that's the company I work for. Yeah, thanks for sharing. So I know you, uh, you and the company, you recently migrated some of your company's workload into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about the workload you're now running today in OCI. Yeah, so, um, you know, we were earlier in, uh, uh, you know, legacy tech, uh, Gen 1 technology of Oracle, uh, and we used to have quite a bit of uh, performance issues and things like that because we are a growing company. So with that, uh, we decided to go for OCI of Oracle. And uh, in a sense, we moved majority of everything that we have today as a global single instance, uh, the Oracle uh, financials, HCM, uh, uh, SaaS part uh, into the Gen 2 was OCI uh, uh, technology. Uh, so on that, would you be able to spend a few minutes maybe walking us through the architecture uh, that using with that solution? and then talk about some of the advantages and decisions that went behind the design? Like I said, uh, you know, there are four key components uh, I would like to highlight from an architecture standpoint. Uh, we were earlier in IPsec VPN services-based connectivity. We moved that from IPsec to uh, Fast Connect, you know, uh, Giga Network to uh, get into the SaaS and PaaS uh, services. And the second component is uh, we used to use uh, DBAS, that to standard version, uh, which was pretty legacy tech for us. Uh, we moved from DBAS to ATP, Autonomous Transaction Processing of Oracle. And the third one is we used to use uh, JCSX-based uh, integrations for some of our critical finance uh, integrations. Uh, we moved from that to uh, VBCS, which is again has been uh, so far going well for us. And most importantly, obviously, you know, the entire Gen 2, you know, infrastructure as such for the past is what we are really liking at this point. Amazing. Can you talk a little bit more about what drove the decision to use ATP, you know, versus uh, our DBCS on OCI? Yeah, for, for us, you know, two types of growth, you know, we have organic and inorganic growth. When I say Organic growth, uh, we keep adding business units or banners uh, to our Oracle enterprise application usage. Uh, and then inorganic is we keep adding within the banners uh, several businesses on a monthly basis, uh, several hospitals on a monthly basis, uh, which basically has uh, quite a bit of load. So when we were looking at opportunities to improve our performance at the technology level, we found that Gen 2's uh, ATP as one of the best options, and also to reduce some of the manual efforts that we used to have with uh, DBAS. Uh, uh, ATP provides quite a bit of automation in various aspects. So, you know, that made the decision for us to go for this new technology from Oracle. Wow, so that, that's fantastic. Uh, thanks for sharing that. And uh, could you share how long it took to get this environment up and running? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, to be honest, we did a, a proof of concept or POC before we uh, wanted to move to this new technology. And uh, we took about three months for the POC. Uh, and then we kicked off the project last November and we went live in April. So we took six uh, months and we actually moved uh, 170 plus integrations from legacy to the new tech. So it's, it was a significant move for us. And we went live in a big bang way. That's great. That's amazing. And so from your take, so what was the best technical advantage that you got when putting this deployment on OCI? Um, the biggest one is the performance. You know, we did a week one uh, performance baseline uh, from the old tech to the new tech after the go live. 
uh, we came uh, pretty uh, nice with, in terms of performance. You know, we did the monitoring of performance by area, like financials and HCM and uh, Coupa. So, you know, overall, we had about 300 plus percent performance improvement for the week one. So that would be the biggest one. And second is, uh, I think we have uh, created a technology stack now where we can go for other new technologies uh, within the Oracle, which is more compatible with this new tech. So those are the two key aspects of uh, the benefits we are foreseeing right now. Yes, this sounds like some great benefits. Um, so one last question for you. Uh, what's next for your company with OCI? What do you guys have planned? Um, like I said, you know, we are looking at growth opportunities. We are going to add a sizable business unit in the North America over the next uh, 10 to 12 months, which will uh, probably help us to keep it uh, from a performance perspective uh, going well. And similarly, we will be adding a few more business units. So that's, that's what we are looking at. And maybe uh, other uh, PaaS products or SaaS products from Oracle, which is more compatible with our existing new tech. They are some of the roadmaps we are looking at from this standpoint. All right, so outstanding. Um, and thank you again, Arvid, for joining. I appreciate the chat today. And thank you, Zach. Thank you so much for inviting me. Really enjoyed the uh, discussion today. This has been Built and Deployed. Uh, thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more technical customer conversations in the future.